tea. Let's get a film my little, my little men. Right, so I'm back. My card was full, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna be doing my top five running slash fitness essentials. It's mainly aimed at running because I'm really passionate about running and I have been doing it for about a year now. Uh, I say a year, but it's kind of been on and off. I haven't been doing it like constantly, but in last summer I was doing it constantly because I was going through a lot of emotional stuff with school and kind of leaving school and friends and stuff. So I used to do running as kind of like an outlet. So if you are looking for something like to de-stress, one reason why it's a good idea. So I'm just gonna be showing my essentials which I use when I go running and I hope this is helpful for you guys. So let's get started. Why do I do this like arm thing? I really like it though. I kind of want to like keep it as a thing. Let's get started. <laughs> so my first thing are clothing and this is really, really essential because I have worn cotton and it has soaked up all the sweat and it has gone really, really rank and it has like weighed down on me when I'm running. I buy fitness clothes from Primark and they are really, really good because they are cheap and they are sweat proof and they are amazing. So if you sweat, the sweat will evaporate off you. I buy my crop tops. I call them kind of crop tops slash sports bra because I'm actually wearing one now. It is a gray one and this I'm falling. <laughs> this is from Primark and it's like padded inside. You can't really see, but I'm gonna show you now. Um, it's got adjustable straps at the back. So with this, you can adjust the back and I have this gray one. I have this pink one with white speckles and I have this pink one. But this one is my absolute favorite because it crisscrosses at the back like that. These ones are about four to six pounds, I think, depending on which one you get. I actually can't remember how much it is, so I'm just gonna say four to six pounds. And the thing I love about them is they have um, little pads inside, so on the booby bits, so you nip that like, woo! Woo! And they're like pointing out everywhere when they get cold. They won't show, basically. I have a top on over the top, so I have my crop top and then I have a tank top over the top. And my tank top I got is from New Look and it's just basically like this random eagle on it and it's American, it's really, really cool. But I just, it's not like fitness related or anything, it's just a random top that I found. I just really like it and I used to just wear it on a daily basis. But now I use it for running and it's really comfy. So what I recommend is having a floaty top over the top or you can get those tight ones, it's whatever you prefer really. My next thing are these um, cycling shorts. They're called cycling shorts because they're like normally used for cycling. So these are from Primark too. I think these are about six to eight pounds, I want to say. I want to say about six pounds. I also have these in leggings version. So basically they're longer, um, but I use these for summer because I don't really like wearing running shorts because they're a bit flappy. Running whatever you feel comfortable in. That's like my main aim, whatever I feel comfortable in because it will motivate you to go running basically um, or do any exercise. This is not sponsored, but the Primark stuff is so good for fitness. If you want something that's really comfortable and cheap and really good quality then go to Primark have a look and if not they've got loads of like different fitness wear in kind of new look ASOS Forever 21 places like that you can basically get fitness stuff anywhere now they're kind of like a really big trend when I go running in the winter or slash autumn slash winter you know when it gets colder um, I wear this longer top this is thinner and it's like speckled it's really really floaty and I love it and this was from Primark I think as well and this is this isn't a fitness top either this is just basically a long top I want to be nice and comfy so this is lovely and I also have this jacket which I love so much this is 18 pounds like you wouldn't think it's just from Primark it's such a nice quality it's really really thick and this has got reflective strips on it um mainly on the bits where you kind of need to be seen like on the top of your head and on the backs of your arms stuff like that and it's got lovely um pink fleece lining <coughs> my voice is dying fleece lining inside and it has some pockets here which I love this one hasn't got a zip uh this one has which is really good to keep things in when you're running and I love it it's really really nice quality so definitely go to Primark check that out so the second thing is music and that I use this armband on my arm and it's really good because you can put your iPod in it, you can put your phone, uh, whatever you have. Basically I have an iPod touch so I bought this especially for my iPod touch so it would fit nicely in there. And what I love about this is it has a clear window on here so when you're touching the phone, so waterproof so in the rain this won't get wet or anything like this. I think this is from Amazon. I want to say this is about six pounds. I'll try and link everything down below so you guys can go get it if you want to. If I don't tell you like where something's from or how much it is, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you because uh, I sometimes forget about stuff like that. Um, and I got this from iGadgets. It's iGadgets. It's a bit of a weird name. <laughs> Um, it's like really good quality and it has the, um, it shows you the button here and the volume so you can see where you're pressing sort of thing which is really good. And also linking to this are Bluetooth headphones. The connection went on my iPod so it didn't actually connect to my iPod anymore, Bluetooth like 
wirelessly. So I bought another pair, as a sucker I am, but I got a different brand. So I got Innotech, and these seem to be lasting really, really well, touch wood. They have volume adjusting and they have a little connector, and you can actually use a Samsung charger for these. So if you have a Samsung, then um, you can use to charge these. And it takes about two hours, I think, to charge fully, but I always do it for two hours anyway, just to make sure that I'm not running and it says, Look and then um, I'm running and then there's my music <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and I can't run without music like I feel like m music motivates me and if I can't do that I'm always listening to the sound of my breathing I'm like <laughs> it's not fun <laughs> so you can see um, on the top I don't know if you can actually see that or not but ah, little buttons here and you can adjust the volume you can stop you can pause you can fast forward you can also listen to calls so if you actually use your phone as someone calls you you can pause it and it has a little tiny microphone in here so you can also use these as um what they're called use this hand-free headset if you want um because they've got a microphone in but i love these so i have these with my ipod i have a playlist on spotify called running so if you guys kind of want to make like a playlist or something i really recommend it i recommend getting stuff that's really fun and stuff that's going to motivate you stuff that you really love that you're going to listen to because if you've got music that you don't really listen to um it can get kind of boring and you're kind of like focusing on running too much so i actually have like 88 plus songs on my running list now and i kind of built it up over time when i found music that i like so i have like fun songs i kind of want to jam out to when i'm running i have like intense songs like adele and stuff um, I have slow songs to relax to after a run and that's it really. The next thing are tying up your hair and I also um, I really recommend this because like when you're running you need to make sure that your hair is out your way. This is like one of my essentials that I do. I make sure that my hair is completely tied back whether it's curly or straight or whatever. Just get it out your face because it can be really distracting. My hair bands and hair clips are definitely my essentials when running and doing fitness. So one of my main essentials are my running shoes, which are really gross on the bottom, but I basically had these since I started running. I've had them for about a year now, and they, as you can see, they're by Nike or Nike, and you can get these from anywhere. Running shoes are really popular now. People are just wear them kind of like out and about every day. Um, but I love these because they are reflective so people can see you, and they are specially designed for running because they have like squishy bits at the bottom. So if you like squish them, you can tell that they're for running. As you put your foot on the ground, it kind of squishes and kind of bounces more. And also, I wouldn't recommend running if you have like a knee problem problems or leg problems because it can like make your knees like more weaker and stuff i'm not don't know the science behind it but you just have to be careful when you run basically and also another essential that i wear when i go running are armbands you can get like snap bands you know this i love these things i can actually just like use these all the time just for entertainment and you can just get these you can put these around your ankles you can put these around your arms you can just slap them on and these are really good because they won't come off so i love these ones this is from pulsar but you can just get these anywhere like amazon or ebay and i have these ones which light up they have like a button here you press this and i don't know if you can see that you can slightly see the like the red it's flashing and you can put it to steel as well or you can just turn it off so i have two of those and i just attach them to my arm here one arm i have this and one arm i have this sometimes i don't always use these if i'm running like kind of in the daylight where people can actually see me i don't normally bother but a lot of the time i do wear these because i realize how essential they are um so yeah essentials getting near the end of the video i'm enjoying this actually i love running so the last essential is water and i use this bottle from rue Canor. i think it's like rue Canor, i don't know but it's one of those ones that you can grip and i love these i really wish i had got these at the start because i actually did have like a plain water bottle like this but because it's so heavy and bulky it's like so hard to keep hold of and i kept like brain water all over myself and like dropping it and it was pain in the ass i really recommend getting these because it's always on you and this is reusable so i just put this in the dishwasher i'm not all of these are dishwashable what's the word dishwasher safe not all of these are dishwasher safe so don't quote me on that <laughs> but i got this from amazon and i will also try and link this down below as well guys but i'm sorry if i can't find it in the links i will try and link everything i can down below but if i can't then um, please comment down below if you are curious about anything and yeah so definitely stay hydrated it's like the main thing that you need to do because if you don't stay hydrated it's going to be really bad for your body and also when you run you sweat a lot so it's essential it's essential that you stay hydrated so yeah thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or a comment or anything like that just have a chat with me basically i'd love to have a chat with you see how your day is and please subscribe to my channel there'll be more videos like this if you guys want to see stuff like this i'm happy to talk about running or any sort of fitness that i like to do i'm not the fittest person on earth i can say that 
Um, and I don't like keep up with my exercise all the time. I basically just do it whenever I want to. And I don't really do running like competitively or anything like that for marathons. I just do it because I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.